Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm excited about today's topic. I built the um, scatter plot with sales on the top along the left axis, quantity along the bottom, and I've put region on both the color and the shape. I did that in this case because I thought it would provide a little more co contrast so the viewer would have a better idea of what they're looking at. And you can see over here with the region, it has both the color legend and the shape legend. Now, when you put this on a dashboard, you don't, I don't want to have these two legends here because it gets a little confusing. It gives the viewer an impression that, okay, is this, is there two different things I'm looking at here? Is central for you know, one color, but something else is a different square. So it just gets a little too confusing. I wanted it to be a single one. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to bring a new item here. I'm going to bring region under rows. So that's going to give you your four regions that you want. Next, I'm going to bring in, oh, I'm actually going to bring, I'm going to put a value of one in the columns. And immediately it's going to go to sum and it's going to give you basically the count of those different items. So what we can do is you come up here and change this to average. So average is always going to be one because that's the value. And I don't want it, this to be a bar. I'm going to change this to a shape. All right, it's way over here. That's okay for now. And I'm going to bring the region over to color. And I'm going to bring the region over to shape again. So now those items are the same as on the previous tab, worksheet. Now I'm going to come here. You need, I want to bring these shapes closer to the name. So I'm going to edit the axis. The average is going to be one. So I'm going to make it so that the axis is only one. I'm going to have the start and the end both equal to one. And I'm going to get rid of this average one. You'll see that we won't need it, won't need to worry about it, but I'm just going to do it for right now. Now you see that they're pretty far apart. What I need to do is come over here to the far right. You can see that the arrows, you know, the side to side arrows, grab those, pull it over till you get it close enough that it's, you know, how you'd like it. Closer. And now what I do is I'm going to hide the column label, show the header. And you've got some lines here, so we're going to come under Format. And this is always a hassle to me. Let's see here. It's always the dividers. All right, so it looks like it's just the lines. We get rid of the grid lines, get rid of the zero lines. And I think we get rid of the axis rulers. I think that took care of everything. I have a little bit of hard time seeing this, so if it doesn't, um, I'll get rid of that there too. Okay, and so we can get rid of the, don't need the header, or don't need the label, field labels. And so now there is your color legend. So come back over to dashboard. But what I often do, you can do it one of two ways. You can have the, you can bring the sheet, hide that, or edit that to call it legend. We'll just do that. Legend. Now you have your legend. You can even change the color if you wanted. Now you can look at it. You can get rid of these either items. Before we do that though, you may say, well, that looks great, but I'd like to have it on the left-hand side like these other ones. All right. So we'll come back over here. We're going to pull the region and we're going to drop that on the labels. Okay. Come to labels, open that up. We're going to have all. And what we'll need to do, it's going to be a couple things. We can do it. We're trying to find that double arrow. So we're going to pull this open here a little bit more so that it has space so they can all fit off to the right. All right. And then let's mess around with this earlier. We're going to change, actually we're going to expand. What's happening is it's it's um, the text is wrapping and so it's not showing quite like you 
we're expecting. Okay, so we've got, we can hide this. Now you can say, well, I'd like a little more space. Well, you'll have to play with the formatting. I think you can come here because this has got all the shape. I mean, this is going to be the label. So let's see here. I don't know if I can function. I can't make that any bigger. Basically, I'm just going to add four or five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Apply. Okay, so it's flipped out again. So what we'll do is okay. And we just need to grab it and pull it over this way so that it can fit. And there you go. Fits. Now you've got, you might have to mess around with over here. Nah. The other option that I've done is you hide the title and then you make this floating. Oops. Make this floating. And then you can just move it wherever and then you can't really tell that it's got the the border what you might have to do in this case is get rid of all the grid lines or um, that's probably what you're going to need to do so there's a couple of ways to create that custom legend when you've got two dimensions or you got the same dimension on both the color and the shape